What's up everybody? This is Corey the Outdoorsman and today we are reviewing the Spot Hog Wise Guy versus the Scott Archery Release. I'll put the name in the description. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, so I'm gonna pretty much take you through the draw with this release. Probably need to put an arrow in. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take you through the draw with this release. So it's actually got a really comfortable wrist strap and the, the trigger is knurled. So it gives it a nice purchase. The only thing I don't like about it is it's a sear. So it's pretty stinking heavy when you get back to full draw. And we'll see how that compares to the wise guy. So that actually feels really comfortable. It's got a rotating head on it. And then it also has a fold back design, which is really nice when you're getting in the deer stand and putting on a coat and everything. So it's really comfortable. So next, pause it. All right, so if we get a close up on this, it's actually a really cool color. I like this color, but it's got an extremely right light trigger. That, that, it surprised me the first time I shot it. I almost sent it. And Jake did actually send it over the fence. So if you look at both of these releases, they're both a vertical trigger design, except this one and this one, this one has more of a rounded off hook to it, where the Scott is more of a kind of rough hook. So both of these are adjustable in and out. And so now I'm gonna take you through the draw. $250 worth of releases. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take you through the draw now. This is actually probably more comfortable of a wrist strap than the uh, Scott is, and it's a lot easier to get on. So if I take you through it, it's actually an extremely comfortable release. And if you watch, I barely even put my finger on the trigger. 